Hello everyone, this is Paul from Paul Schwachs, the die-cast guy I guess you would say, and I rarely do a video where I'm actually speaking in it, I haven't done one like this for a while now, um, just the situation I'm in, it's hard to do videos like that, so I've been just doing it the way I do it. And I enjoy doing it that way. And I'm just glad to all the people who actually watch my videos. And I'm doing this special video because David from Diecast Life and Death sent me a small package. Um, I'm sorry about the background noise. I'm actually doing it in the local park. And there's a lot of noise in the background and I live by an airport so that doesn't help either but I'm doing this special video because he sent me a package in the mail I was commenting on one of his videos he did an unboxing of the drag strip demons and I was just mentioning to him how I have not been able to find any of those castings anywhere so he sent them to me and I'm very, very appreciated of him doing that. And I just thought I'd show them to you. He sent me a couple others too. So the first one we'll show you, because I'm a big Mopar fan. Um, even though I've been showing a lot of other stuff, I've started really getting into the brand Mini GT, which I really like. And I'm trying to get all of those, but it's going to be very hard. But I still like my Mopars. It's probably my favorite brand. Automotive brand, that is. So let's show these. I already opened the box, so I know it's inside. So the first one is the Drag Strip Demons, number one of five. And it's the original Ram Chargers. And this is a 65 Dodge Coronet right there and I'm going to open it and we'll put it on the little turntable here sorry about the lighting and everything so there is the 65 Dodge Coronet from the drag strip demons and the original Ram Chargers is an iconic name back in the day the 60s 70s so this is the first one and then the second one here we're going to show you is my favorite one out of the whole set and this one i don't think we've seen a lot of it i don't think hot wheels has done a lot of this casting um, but we'll show it to you and this is the 73 Plymouth Duster it's number four out of five like I said I don't think Hot Wheels has done this casting a lot and here you go okay the boss is going to move We'll put that on the turntable and we'll just put a close up of this. I know a lot of you have seen these already. They have metal base, premium paint jobs. It's a very nice casting. Chrome rims on the front and the black rims on the rear. That's a very nice casting. 1965 Dodge Coronet. So we'll set that aside and now we're going to look at the, the duster here. 75, 73 Plymouth Duster, sorry. Trying to keep stuff from blowing away because there's wind here outside. And this one says Last Stand Plymouth Duster. It has an old 70s paint job, the sparkly purple. Which is awesome. 
Metal Page, Premium Wheels. Very cool. And then, we got two more we're going to show you. Which are the same castings. Or not the same as that one, but these are Matchbox. And these are the 66 Dodge Charger. And here's the one in this like silverish paint job and it has the orange and black stripes on the side. I have not been able to find this one and this is actually from the new 70th anniversary set that Matchbox is putting out. So it's so cool he sent this. Thank you so much for doing that. Because like I said, I don't actually I don't go I don't go out hunting that much either. But when I do, I can never find these. So there's the 66. And that one's not going to stay on the turntable. And then here's the other one. The other 66 Charger. I've been looking for this one. And have not found it, but he sent me this one. Still in the package. So we are going to open it. Oh, nice. A little paper wrap over it. And here is this nice orange paint job. The stock matchbox rims. And then you got the plastic base. And it's nice. They do the detail on the back. Matchbox lately has been really good at putting the rare tail light de um, tampos and when they have to do the front they'll do that too they've been really good at doing that so this is the orange 66 dodge charger and everybody knows dodge charger actually the 69 dodge charger is my favorite of all time and then he also sent me a sticker here's one of the stickers die cast life and death So again, oops, these cars are not staying on there, so we'll take those ones off. Put this one on there, and we'll actually put both of them on there. And I just want to say thank you again to David at Diecast Life and Death for sending these. That is such a nice thing to do that. That is so sweet. And you know what, I have your address, and... I just may send you something back. And then I just wanted to show you guys one other thing I got in the mail yesterday. I did show it in my latest mail call video. But I'll just show it again up close. And I thought this was a cool model. And it is the LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR. From Mini GT, I just love this brand for the just the realism, the detail. They got inserted tail lights, inserted headlights. Just a cool brand, metal base, and they're reasonably priced. And this particular model here is the wonderful Indonesia. So this is like special edition for I guess Indonesia these cool graphics on the side LB performance on the front windshield and there you go just wanted to show you that and you'll be seeing a lot more mini GT and yes you will also be seeing some more Mopars from my channel so again to David at Diecast Life and Death Thank you so much. I really enjoy watching your videos. Um, and you make me laugh a lot on how some of the things you do on your videos. So thank you again. And we'll see you at the next video. And I will leave a link to David's video in the description below. So again, thank you for watching. Everybody have a great day and 
I will see you at the next video. Bye.